Happy Seis de Mayo. Hey, Seis de Mayo. Seis. Seis. Seis yeah. de Mayo. You said you eat tomatoes. Fuck those things, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Fuck tomatoes. Fuck tomatoes. Fuck tomatoes. Fuck mayonnaise. Fuck sweet tea. What's Not sweet wrong tea. With what you? the? F- no, the sweet tea. Those are, my, those are the three uh, things in my tea? life that I hate. Any tea in general. Sweet tea, unsweet. Green no tea. Matter. Green tea. Ice tea. Raspberry tea. A, iced tea. Iced tea. Iced tea. Lemon sweet tea. tea. The wrapper. The rapper, t- yeah. Fuck that guy, too. I'm um, Ice T. Is that Mike Tyson? <laughs> no, that's kind of how he talks. Ice T. <laughs> but yeah, today is the day after Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> also known as Thursday. Yes. But I did have some badass enchiladas and a badass sangria last night. And I felt like I was 10 years old. Or not 10 years old, 10 but. Years, <laughs> I felt like I was a kid drinking like, the freaking what? Zimas and freaking nah. wine coolers. I say, I felt like an 18 year old cheerleader that got to try the. Like Smirnoff for the first time. Wow. You got iced and got blitzed. I did. <laughs> she said, you want the grande? I said, yeah, I've been studying the Spanish at my local caviar shop. <laughs> What's his I, name? <laughs> I know grande means big, so bring it to me. Areola grandes? <laughs> Areola grandes. That's an episode name. What was small mean? What? Tiny. No, in Spanish. Uh, Not grande. <laughs> I don't exactly. know. Exactly. I'm like, not that is, advanced. What is this, like medium and small? Shit. Menicio. Ladies at the coffee shop asked how old I was, and I said, <laughs> Trace Uno. <laughs> <laughs> and they started laughing like, no. What is it? What, how do you actually say it again? It's like, uh, like Trant or Trasant. Trasant. What, 31? Yeah. 31 in Spanish. Trante. 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 Chiente e uno. Chiente e uno. The Delaportes. You, you make it sound like you're Italian. Chiente e uno. 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 What is this? Mavis Beacon or something? A Rosetta Stone? What does this speech on Google sound like? Do you like? know what 20 is? Twint. <laughs> it's well, a, I can't uh, even do it if I wanted to. Viente. Vont. Oh, Vol- I knew that. Name a number. 69. Siesta Nuevo. <laughs> nope. No? No. Nope. I can't say. Siesta Nuevo? Sensente y Nueve. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wouldn't have got that. Nuevo. I'm not good at Spanish, man. No. It's, it's hard. I'll speak the English. But, yeah. We had the great yard sale. Finally came. We had a she great said. time. <laughs> Finally came. <laughs> Finally came. I made a hundred and something dollars. We'll brag about it. I, I just did. Says the guy that, oh, fuck a yard sale. I ain't got nothing to sell. I, I, I ain't going to make one dollar. I didn't think <laughs> any of my shit would sell. Then an eBay See, came. See, that's, that's why we try to tell you to be no, positive, man. I take that back. I made $25 right off the bat when the, that, that Mexican family pulled up. You've had like four or five PS4 games. And yeah. And got ripped like off. $10 for all of them. And then I was like, ten dollars is a fucking hell well, of a deal. And the guy was like, you take seven? Ross was like, fuck seven yeah. it is. Yeah. Seven yeah. it seven is. is. But it was mad in two thousand like thirteen or two thousand fourteen. So like Mike I made Nick more money off that kid if I would have brought them than if I would have brought them to GameStop. Yeah, GameStop would have gave you more. Exactly. So I made a good money. No, I said no. GameStop would have gave no, you more. They would have gave me like sixty three cents each. You said exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I made seven bucks off that one kid who brought my four old PS four games. And then his dad, he was like, How much for this drill and battery that had no or the drill and the flashlight that had no battery? I'm like, We do fifteen bucks? Yeah. He paid me fifteen bucks. And then they bought like a Did you tell him there was no battery for that? Yeah, well he he saw that there was no battery. He might not have known though. He also bought one of the weed eaters. Yeah, yeah, one of the weed years they didn't run, and then uh, I think they they, b- they bought something else. It may have been like the koozie I had for sale, or some of that. So at you the had end a of the koozie? day, yeah, it was like an Ozark Trail metal koozie. I didn't see that. Yeah, I sold it for three bucks. Well, how about Micah wheeling and dealing and selling Claire's fucking cup with a drink in it? <laughs> yeah, oh no, coffee and Bailey's. Micah, and Micah sold a cup. Micah that made the first what? sale of the damn day. 
Yeah, he's giving cups he away. He sold a sponge for 25 cents. <laughs> everybody <One> laughed. Sponge. <laughs> yeah. well, everybody laughed. It was a scrub daddy. A lady drove daddy. all the way to our yard sale and spent 25 cents for one sponge. It's called a scrub daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then Claire was pissed off. She's like, oh, I was going to buy that because those things are like three bucks in the store. Like, those things work. I'm like, well. Scrub daddy. That's what it's called. And it was a smiley face. Scrub. I think I might have seen an info commercial for that. You actually. probably have. Well, now she said now they got gender neutral ones. They got scrub mommies and scrub daddies. That's what Claire was telling me. Mm. Wow. Yeah. What would be a, what would be a um, gender neutral? Because you got both. Scrub thingy. Scrub thingy. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. Scrub panties. Scr- scrub thingy. Or scrummy. <laughs> scrub thingy. But yeah, I sold I the... S- I sold probably the, the most random of items of anybody. You would have made a lot more money if you didn't sell everything for like a quarter or 50 cents. Well, I just wanted it gone. Well, because you saw like Paul and Wendy. They sold just as many items as you did. But they made like 200 something dollars. Off okay. of fucking like seashells and old jeans that they sold for like a dollar each and all. They made like over 200 and something dollars. Did they really? Yeah. 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 <laughs> See, I don't know. I'm thinking that they actually counted the money they started with plus what they gained. I think they said they started with 60. Okay. So they they removed the 60 first. I gotcha. But I had to eat. Mm. The eBayer showed up to my table. And he bought like all my uh, he bought all my, the good shit. my microphones and my speakers and all that the bins. He bought all the shit that I was gonna wait till the end of yeah. the day and then lowball you on. Then he told me he's like, <laughs> "Hey, here's my business card. Let me know if you have anything like this, and I'll get it. I'll buy it from you." I yeah. emailed him Sunday with other stuff that I had, no response. Hmm. Motherfucker. I was surprised at the things that did sell versus the things that I thought for sure would sell. Those are like little knickknack shit. Yes. Like, I, I, sold. I sold a whisk and an ice tray. Yeah. But I couldn't sell bar stools or barbecue grills that were You marked. wanted to sell, sell the lady the whole set, the, the lady who bought the whisk? Yeah. You, you tried to sell her take the whole set? Take them all for a dollar. Yeah, for 75 cents more. Now, I'll I take just this for 25 cents. I'm like, oh, my God. I sold a pair of titties. You did. For you did. For a dollar. You also sold a hard hat that you don't know about because you weren't there. I wasn't there for either one of those sales. We it's sold the other John's lawn furniture for way less, his lawn furniture and his weed eater for way less than what he wanted for it. Oh. I said I wanted a dollar for each titty. It's true. That's, that's, that's a fair statement. I got ripped off. Yeah. There was more than a dollar worth of batteries in that. Oh, thing. I felt like the reasonable or the the responsible adult. I see kids walking up and fucking nipples <laughs> hanging out of John's titty plaque. So I walk over there and cover up the nipples. I'm like, then the wind blew and it blew yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> like oh my god. I walked over and covered them up too. So those things were out like <laughs> off and on all day. The whore. The whole Your day. Plaques a whore. Plaques a whore. Oh, here. Did he, didn't even have no beads for all that action no. it was doing. Yeah. No beads. Showing them boost. It, it was a good time. We were there from 7 a.m. to about. One one thirty is when we stopped. Uh, I think it was. I think we were gonna go till two, and then uh, right around one, yeah. like man, it really got slow. So let's start picking our shit. What up. you end up doing with all your leftover stuff? It's still in my truck right now. <laughs> <Yeah. Like> it, <laughs> it, I took it for the next one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we were loading up the bins on Micah's truck. He saw the tables and shit. I was like, oh, right, so you got still got the tables from last weekend. He's like, all the other stuff's still in the cab. <laughs> but but whenever I went. I had the bed full of stuff, and I had the cab full of truck. Yeah. So now I sold so much stuff that all I got is the back seat filled up. Yep. Nice. I, I, was, I felt accomplished leaving. I just don't want it back in my house. Like That was the whole point of this yard sale was to get rid of this shit. I know it was like a lot of old people bought old stuff. Yes. Like a lot of Paul and Wendy stuff was like that old like Coasters ceramic and, stuff, and glassware yeah. and all that. Like all the old people bought all that stuff up. I'm like yeah. – all you're doing is saving it for your, your family members to Stuff sell at their away. yard sale. <laughs> well, that's what they're going to do. That's what Paul and Wendy did. It was all like their the family shit yeah. that was hand me down to them. They sold at a yard sale. No, that's true. I do like like the people watching aspect because you had the people that come up that had to physically touch every yeah. fucking thing on My every bins. table. Yes. They would open up the grills, look at them. They would take every single thing off the uh, the the table and look yep. at it and inspect it and put it back down. I'm like, get your grubby hands off of it yeah. unless you're seriously going to buy it. You know how many people walked up to my bins, like opened them up? Oh, yeah, these things open up. They snap together. Oh, yeah, they stack perfect. On to the next table. I'm like, bitch, if you touch it, you buy it. <laughs> That's right. Too antsy, too antsy. Too antsy. Lemonade stand did pretty good. Yes, it did. It was something bucks. It was actually very good lemonade. Yeah. Y'all say. owe me, like, some hourly wages. I poured some damn lemonades, man. Oh, we got to talk to Tori. She made all the money. She, she was nerd to be found, and people wanted lemonades, man. Talk to uh, the boss she's lady. She's a hustler. She's yeah. a hustler. 
She was inside yelling at the front door because she was locked in. <laughs> Tori, Tori established Management 01. You have somebody, other people do your you work. You have other people do the work. Yep. You manage other the stand. Other people make you rich. <laughs> yes. You manage the stand <laughs> and the people. Basically, let them go to work. Yep. She's got to figure it out at a young age, man. You're training her right. Work her into yep. management. We bought the lemonade, and then she keeps profits. I don't get it. <laughs> she, she didn't put nothing out of her own in there? She didn't invest? Mm-mm. It's bullshit, man. That's like, what's wrong with America. No, no interest on that loan? Next time. Next time. She don't know. She don't know. Next time, she better be selling some deep eddies with that lemonade. Hell, yeah. Got oh. adult lemonade. And we got well, – you might get in trouble selling alcohol at a yard yeah, sale. Yeah, and no. I was like – and I can easily confuse the two. Yeah. And like saying you know you're giving a kid – We could have sold eddies. some bush lights. Uh, I don't know. I feel like you got to have a liquor license to do that. Not for beer. Yeah. I yeah actually, you do. So what we should have done with every $20 purchase, free cup of lemonade. Yep. So rack it up. 20 bucks, folks. Free yep. cup of lemonade. And we might give you a bush light, too. Mm-hmm. Depends. It depends. Some people wanted to buy the cornhole tables. I didn't see that. Like, oh, those aren't for sale. Yeah. Those are out here for us not to play on. I if, just, it was, if, if it was slow enough, we would have played, but it was never slow enough to uh, even pick up a bag. By the time it was slow enough, it didn't feel like playing. Yeah. Is there anything you took and then set it out and like, you know what, I just don't have the heart to get rid of that yet? Everything that I brought out there, I still have. Do you? My jam and jelly little things. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna sell them. They're in my box, and I like, I grabbed them. I, I just don't have the heart to get rid of these. Yeah, yet, you show me those. They're in the on your tailgate. It's like, see these right here. It's like, I I picked I them up, a quarter read them. them. It's like, I cannot sell these yeah. just because of the joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like they're going back in my kitchen somewhere. Like, that's What's the what, difference between those coasters? The coasters. Yeah, the what jam coaster? and jelly coasters. Who's got jam and jelly? Oh, they, well, they look like coasters. They're like little little, little wooden things. Little like, wooden plaque things. Yeah, they're, they're like. They're, they're decorations. They're, they almost look like coasters. I'm just glad that I didn't have anything in there that either one of you guys give me. Like, I didn't have no NASCAR tire coasters in there. Yeah. I you didn't son have, of a bitch! I, I probably could have put one of my beer holders in there. Being you could have. I wouldn't have took offense yeah. to that. Yeah. I'm trying to think. There was probably a couple Christmas gifts that I was like, I could the probably put that in there. The boot plaque was a white like, elephant gift. gift. Boot plaque was, was a white it? elephant. Yeah. yeah. But I don't even know who that – I don't remember I, – I don't even remember ever seeing that, so – I think Paul and Wendy brought it for the white elephant gift. Well, so I think they got it. Uh, yeah. I think they got it. I think she even said it. They got it from somebody else as a white elephant gift. Well, it was in the yard sale. I can't believe nobody's wine cork opener, automated wine yeah. cork opener, didn't. Sell. I got one. Either and I of want them. it. I I want mine. So I just had to find it. Mm. We have one that we just had to have at the Christmas party, right? Like Ashton even just willing and dealing to get it from Claire because they already had one. You know how many times that thing's been used? Zero. Goose egg. Still in the box. Oh, uh, it's out of the box. As a decoration. Like it's counter. decreased in value. Yeah. But I'm like, I got thinking about it. I'm like, why do we have to have this bottle owner? Because she only drinks the fizzy pop wine and they're all twist offs. Yep. You're going to have to get a wine that you're going to need that for. Yeah. Keelan Curly. Keelan Curly. Bring this home to your old lady. Well, that's actually pretty good. She yep. likes sangria. Like, I'll, I'll get her some of that. I'm glad I tried yep. it. It was good. Golly, that's good. Golly, that's good. Whatever happened to that old boy? That was a uh, moonshiners, wasn't it? I think so. We were talking about the old turtle man today. Whatever happened to that? Boy? Wee! Live action. Live action. I don't know, man. I used to watch that and the Gator Boys all the time. The, the Gator sp- Boys. The I forgot Animal about Planet. the Gator Boys. Yeah. I used to watch them all the time. Yeah. Like every Sunday night. Yeah, that's but it a- got canceled because of COVID. That and uh, was it? Pim- <laughs> Trick my RV. Trick my that RV. was on. That was on on Sunday nights too. It I was watched uh, Pimp My Ride. ride. Yeah, yeah, with Exhibit. Yeah. It was uh, oh, was who, what's his name? The rocker guy that wears the headband. Brett Michaels. Brett Michaels. What? He had a show that like trick out my RV. RV. Trick my RV. He would used to take someone's RV trick and fucking out. renovate that shit. It, but it wasn't like he didn't put a fucking popcorn machine in a Ford Taurus. Like they put a food processor no, in no, the back of a Prius. No, no, yeah, he didn't do like stuff like that. They did like legit like RV like. 
restorations and all yeah. that. Cotton candy machine. Yeah. That, that is, like, Pimp My Ride would fuck yeah. some people's cars Why do up. I need a fucking toaster oven in the back seat of yes. my fucking uh, Miata? Yeah. <laughs> They'd put, like, a George Foreman grilling station in the back of a Ford Fiesta. Like a fish tank in the fucking dash of yes. a Ford Taurus. I think that's pretty badass. Yeah. yeah. They would yeah. do yeah, some but the dumb fish died. shit. You can't drive around with a fish tank in your dashboard. You can but you have to have superintendent windows. Yeah, you gotta have like AC the, on for the water. Yeah, they fucking creep so all the fucking water don't come out and or it doesn't fucking kill your goddamn fish slamming up against glass. Yeah, like the outside of the cars always look awesome, but they did stupid do shit on the dumb inside. shit on yeah. the inside. Why it's not? like it's like, hey, we're giving these people some free shit. Let's do some dumb shit. But that Fuck company, West Coast Customs, Customs, actually did like legit like great work on cars. Yeah. So maybe they're just trying to do outlandish stuff to just to bring attention to them. Yeah, they they put like a hot tub in somebody's car one time. Yeah, who do, who wouldn't want that? It was like an El Camino <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. It was a car no, that I'd go out the El parking Camino. lot and just chill in my hot tub. They would take some straight ass beaters that had no value, yeah. and spend like eight times more than the car was <laughs> worth. Definitely, I think I saw somewhere where the guy who owns West Coast Compton is like, I don't know why we did that. Yeah. He was like thinking back. He was like, we were still we were like a legit company when that happened. He was like, why would we? He's like, yeah, it gave us like, no, like people knew who we were after that. But he was like, but why, why did we do that? Why did we agree? Because people, that? then now you got all these outlandish requests. Because he still has, people. they still have like TV shows, like on uh, yeah, Motor yeah. Trend Network and all that, it was, like Inside West Coast Customs. Yeah, it shows it. you doing like legit car work, like on Bentleys and fucking Ferraris and shit. I get into watching those, like yeah. Texas metal and stuff. Oh yeah, I like that guy. Yep. Builds his own chassis and shit. Uh, Bitchin' rides is a good one. Yeah, that's they good. They do like a lot of uh, hot rod stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep, I get the Motor Motor Trend Network now. Yep, I got the app. The yeah. app. So that and uh, I think uh, uh, Roadkill is yep. on Motor Trend. Yeah, they started off as a YouTube thing. Yeah, there's, and there's several on, good ones on yeah. there. I have no idea what you're talking about. It's all car stuff, John. Yeah. Got no idea. It's car stuff. Car stuff. Car. Get Dude, out of the car, Cole. Talking about uh, wombats and different type of road. Roadkill is awesome because uh, <laughs> wombats. Roadkill's whole thing is that they do like beater stuff. Roadkill. So like they'll drive like they'll say today we're we are yeah. going to this junkyard. We're gonna find a they're they're based out of L.A. Yeah. Like California's like we're gonna go to this junkyard today. Get car running. Find a car in the junkyard, get it running, and then we're gonna do a road trip to Mexico. Mm-hmm. Or, or they'll go somewhere and like one of them they found like an NHRA. Uh, drag car like a uh, sanctioned drag car like in someone's barn that was there for like 60 years they found it got it running drove it to the drag strip in town and uh they signed up for an event there and they yeah. they ran in the drag event one of those two like they would start out in like tennessee and their idea was to try to drive cross country but at every yep. stop try to trade their car for yep. something else ah, that's cool it and was they're, cool. they're like the jig guys is like yeah, yeah. E- even though they, they started off on youtube like the two guys, uh, Freiberger and Finnegan. Yeah, Freiberger Finnegan. was the chief editor of Motor Trend Magazine, or Hot Rod Magazine. Yeah. And uh, Finnegan was also. So they're like legit car guys like in the car industry. Yeah. But they had like a, a YouTube series. But now it's on Motor Trend Network. Yeah. They actually have a TV show. It's pretty entertaining yeah. if you like car stuff. That yep. would be pretty cool just to, to have some beater. Yeah. Drive it for a little bit. You know you're running, I guess. See if you can flip it for another car. So they do. They just trade. Well, like their main car, slip. like the car that made them like known was uh, General Mayhem. He had like a 69 Charger that he got from a junkyard and they they put like a random Mopar motor in it and got the thing running. The thing was badass. They ended up putting a Hellcat motor in it. Hellcat. Hell General yeah. Mayhem. General Mayhem. Is any relation to General Sal? <laughs> General Sal. Oh, I Man, love this chicken. I ain't had any of that chicken in a while. General. Nope. General Sal. General Sal. General Sal. Oh, speaking of General Chicken... Mortal Kombat was pretty badass. Yep, John finally saw it. I have not saw it. I haven't seen it since Sega Genesis was out and I played it. That's how long it's been. It's been I don't long. really remember the first one that well. That's I all. I, all the only thing I played was the first. I didn't see. It, I didn't play any other games but the first. I never watched the. I didn't watch the first movie, the original movie that That's came out. That's what I was saying. I don't all I know was the first game that came out. I was telling you, you got to get the the first movie, so you can kind of compare. Yeah. I've watched it. But they said it, the first movie so was like god awful, terrible. Like, but that makes you appreciate that. the second. But people were like, the second one sucked, and I was like, I, think I the thought second the second one was, was pretty, awesome. Yeah, I, 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 I liked it so much. I watched like four times already. People were just upset because they didn't actually have like a tournament. The problem, you know, like, like I said, like just like when Acting NASCAR went great. on the dirt, went on Bristol dirt, 
people had the preconceived notion that it was going to be terrible because uh, NASCAR, they, they don't race on dirt anymore for a reason because asphalt, uh, blah, blah, blah. So people had the preconceived notion something's going to be terrible beforehand. So no matter what, it could be a great race or a great movie. They think it's trash. Same thing with Mortal Kombat. They people. remember Mortal Kombat from their uh, childhood, so they're like, no matter what, 20-something years later, this is terrible. It's going to be terrible. And it could come out and be a great movie, yeah. but... They already have in their mind it's going to be terrible. People are just reluctant to change. Like, yeah. Humans, like, we get in this, like, comfortable zone of everything, you know, being the same. And anytime there's change, like, we always yep. fight it. Like, change ain't always a bad thing. No. Like, when this movie came out, I didn't even think about the video game, the original video game that I played. I went in with a clean, clean slate. Yeah. Loved the movie. Thought yep. it was awesome. Love Finish it. him. Yep. That, Love yeah, it. you only heard that once. Like they, they didn't force like the video game, like the stuff that you know. Like yeah. you, you hear Scorpions get over here get once over in the here. movie. You hear uh, Fatality like once in the movie. You only they they didn't force the stuff in there. They let it come naturally. No, you gotta force it. Like, it's better to come naturally. Like to finish him, to finish him, you hear it once, and the guy yells it, and like they're fighting each other, and like one person's losing, and they're like, "You just finish him." And then you hear a, "Oh yeah, hi oh, yeah." <laughs> he got finished. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Punched in the nuts. Yep. A little sack shot. Yep, it was great, man. Yeah, it was a good one. I loved it. You can watch it. it. I can? You have internet now, don't you? Well, I have limited internet. Not You don't have streaming capabilities? I do, but I only got 30 gigs a know. month. I don't know how far that will get you. Yeah. Until I run out. Have you tried it yet <laughs> to see how long it runs out? No, I'm never home long enough to watch a movie. Try well, to watch see, a movie and yeah. see how much you Yeah, uses. try to watch an hour and a half movie or an hour and 40 minute movie. Like I said, I'm never home long enough to watch a movie. You're, you're home every night. But I'm doing things outside. Like yeah, Well, you got to stop working when you get home from work and fucking enjoy yourself when you get home and watch a movie. I do. I sit down for about 20 minutes while I eat. I watch the news and then I go to work. He's like, you got to work while you're young because you can't work forever. That's right. <laughs> 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 it's like Brooks and Dunn said. I'm a hard working man. <laughs> I should have bought one of your hard hats the other day. You should have, well, man. I, I got the same exact one in my garage if you need it. <laughs> I've never used a hard hat ever. No. Would well, you have to have them for the steel mills? Yep. Yeah. How come I never had one? Like, we had to go to steel mills. Because we went to California and they're like, yeah, you man, do shit. You just use No boot around. covers, nothing. Here's the here's the keys to all the, the data closets. Just have your way, man. Here's the map. <laughs> map, to, man. Go to town, dude. <laughs> All right, man, we'll, we'll, we'll buzz you if we need anything. Yeah. I remember on mine, they're like, <laughs> you can't go anywhere with an escort. And as soon as that guy walks out, I walk straight into that fucking steel mill where I got to go. These My guys waiting around for one guy to escort four of us in four different directions. These guys basically just met us. It was me and Micah, nobody else from our company. Yeah. And they just. What were they thinking sending just me and you? They handed us the keys <laughs> to the freaking building. The go whole, the whole steel mill, like all the whole, we had access to everything. Yeah. And he's just like, yep, here's a map. Uh, pretty much figure it out. Then, right. they're like, <laughs> then they're like, you boys want to go to, I think it was like coaches or yeah, some shit. To, you want to go to Hooters? It was like, yeah, we coaches went to Hooters. Was, coaches was in Canada. Right. It was something yeah. like that, but it was the equivalent of Hooters sports yeah. bar. And like we were there and we were at Hooters. And then I remember the, the one that, one guy, Adirondack, Waldack. Scotty Rondack. No, Comeback, Wallback. It was Waldack. 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 Your boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's Wallback. a... Niner fan or something. Yeah, and they were playing a playoff game, and like we we're just egging him on. He was getting worked <laughs> up. Waldack. That's what it was. Waldack. Yep. That was a good time, man. Yep. That's when John bought a PS2? Three? No, that was no, in uh, Virginia. Virginia. Your trips are all muddled. Yeah. We were in Virginia when you bought it, and we went to. You weren't with us in Virginia. This is a different Virginia trip? It's a different Virginia. Oh. We're, we're at UVA, and John saw me playing PS4. He's like, man, that game looks awesome. Like, you should buy a PS4, too. So we did. He was like, yeah, man, tomorrow after work, we're going to go to the mall and buy a PS4. Yeah. And he bought the PS4 along with the coach purse for his wife. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, I get a, yeah. a message from his dad telling me that Great he was disappointed choice. in me because <laughs> he thought I would steer his son in a better direction. Like, oh. yeah, I need someone to play online with it for fucking... <laughs> That's what it uh, was. Battlefield. In Rancho Cucamonga at the Steel Mill, we went and we got a game for the PS4 or whatever. We got, uh, like, a NASCAR game, and then we went to Bass Pro Shop, and you got your wife a beer can holder for around <laughs> yeah. her neck. Yep. It sounds like every time you buy something for yourself, you had to buy something for her. That's how I used to think. <laughs> yeah. Well, he spent 60 bucks on he a video game. Then. He spent 60 bucks on a video game for us to play, 
and then he spent ten dollars on a neck like koozie holder. Well, I think when he bought the camo. PS4, he he spent the same amount, if not more, on the purse. <laughs> I spent uh, that day. I spent over a thousand dollars. You spent your week's paycheck. And it was paycheck. my fault, apparently. <laughs> I, I take full paycheck. responsibility for that. I yeah. just was like, I can just see her being livid that I had spent that much money on but, a PlayStation, and then did she like? I was purse? like. I'm gonna get her purse so she don't even worry about it. Yeah. She didn't really worry about it. She liked the purse. I bought a, she did like the purse. I bought a I mean, network she hub. Didn't show it that much <laughs> by throwing it on the ground when she, or just throwing it in her vehicle. But she said she loved it. I bought a little network <laughs> hub and we had Cat Six cable spread out between our hotel room. Yep. One to John's uh, PlayStation in the back, mine in the front while he's listening to Journey. Don't stop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had some good times on the road, man. Oh yeah, it was great yeah. until we were working. No. Well, even when you work, man, it's it just still like fun. you just usually as soon as you get a chance to cut oh, up I hate have it. Some that fun, was the worst ten years of my life. No, Dude. I wouldn't say I post, that. I post. Well, my brother posted something on Facebook, like a picture of a job, and he was like, "Oh, this is great." And I even posted. I was like, "Don't miss." I was it. like, "I don't miss that one bit." And the old, old yeah. owner of the company chimed in. I'm like, "Oh, there's nothing more than working uh, 18 hour days and cramming four people in a hotel room." Yeah. It would have been better if you got paid for it. Like, we actually made a lot of money for well, it. Well, y'all were hourly. I was salary. <laughs> but even then, even hourly, even Can't hourly, it. you didn't make that much money. Oh, well, you um, made more than me when you're on the road. But still, uh, it wasn't like, it wasn't. Canada bought my race car. It yeah. was good, but it wasn't, like, great. Micah, we literally brought Micah to the fucking airport and worked three days straight after we dropped him off. Well, y'all said but, y'all didn't need me anymore. Yeah, so we dropped sent me home. Him, we dropped him off at the airport. On Wednesday morning, on the way to work. It's because your boss. And then we got off on Saturday. <laughs> hey, bl- blame your boss. He needed a crew chief. Piss poor management, man. Stems from the top. Yep. You were the manager. Even Mario, at, Mario, he, he left when he left us and went to the other company. He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be traveling." I'm like, "Bro." I was yeah. like, it's going to be fun for like the first month and then yeah, he gets old. Over that shit. No, man. He's like, I want to. He's like, and he, he worked there for two years and he ended up quitting that place. Did he really? Mm-hmm. Oh. I was going to say, like, the traveling, the traveling is fun. Gigs. It's fun if you're it's with fun your friends. It's fun when you're not working. When you're young. Well, if you're work, working with your friends, too, though. True. Like, that's completely different than yeah. just work, yeah. traveling and working with people you really don't know or you really don't care for. Like, but when you work with your friends, like, it can be a shitty situation. We yeah. still have fun. Oh, yeah. Then you work uh, 16 hours with the same guys. And then you go back to the hotel and get fucked up with them. Well, no, not that. Well, not that. <laughs> but usually, like you, th- usually when you leave work, you can separate yourself from yeah, work. Yeah, you can't do that. But when you're sharing hotel rooms with your coworkers, you're yeah. you, you have no time. You, you're not. You're never separating. You ready to go <laughs> yeah. to the Wood Grill buffet? Oh, that place is amazing. <laughs> I love that. But that yeah. was the only thing I enjoyed about <laughs> traveling. Was That's going right. to Charlottesville, Virginia. He's got a point because, like, after you left, because you had a death in the family. I had to share a room with Scotty Tootsies. He would wake up in the morning and make sure he got a shit in. Before, before you woke up. I would wake up like 10 minutes before we have to leave, brush my teeth, get the fuck out. You walk in there and you step in baby powder <laughs> in a bathroom that smells like hell, like coffee. Well, see, I was already ready, ready for that because I already got the heads up on him oh, as a man. roommate. So me and him were fine. That was the worst. I'd be like, I'd be mad before we even like left. I'd be like, I would walk man. in the bathroom, flick on the lights before I even step in there. And I'm you like, I look at the ground I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, me and my black socks. <laughs> Here's a towel. I just put the towel down and I like use it as if I'm like just scoop my way across the floor so I don't get yeah. powder all over me. Oh, <laughs> that was after you spent the whole night not sleeping because he was fucking snoring. snoring yeah. I slept through that. Uh, I couldn't. I, I'm a I'm a very light sleeper. I, like I, I kick passed my, the I had like, plugs. My dog will wake me up like at one thirty in the morning, snoring on the ground. I will literally wake up, open my fucking bedroom door, and kick that motherfucker out. Motherfucker. Because I, 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 like at first I would yell at him. He was snob snoring, and like 10 minutes later, <laughs> fucking dog snoring. I'm like, you motherfucker. So I, now I just fucking kick him out of the room. I think part of me and Scott was like, I, I drank a lot of whiskey with him. Yeah, so like he, he we, we, I would pass the fuck out. When, like the, my Whiskey nightcap, made him snore worse. Oh, my nightcap was serious, though. <laughs> like, that, I, it, I was a blackout. Like, <laughs> it, it, was a, it was a whole bottle of whiskey and some Lonesome Dove. Yep. <laughs> me and him sat there and watched lonesome, like a whole series, the lonesome whole thing, dove. everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything yep that's some good times man I don't miss it at all I don't miss the travel I do. yeah. me and, I got me to and see some Scott. cool well and plus you traveled on your own time yeah like I remember that one point they're like well you know I'm not paying uh, you for it well yeah it's like uh, you don't get full time for Straight travel I'm like time. no motherfucker I'm like if I'm traveling for eight hours 
I'm putting eight hours on my timesheet. <laughs> if I'm traveling for 12 hours, like, no, yeah. uh, you only get half time when you travel. So if I traveled and I traveled for eight hours, I put fucking 16 hours on my timesheet. <laughs> no joke. I did that shit. I know. Uh. And then, and then uh, like, they didn't want to pay for the parking. Like, we're only going to pay for parking yeah. uh, at the airport. Um, we'll pay for the first five, like five days. Anything after that, you have to pay. I was on. I was out of town for ten days. Pull out that fucking uh, Tampa uh, airport parking lot. Company card right through that fucking swipe. I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> if I'm traveling on your, if I'm traveling for you, uh, you're paying for that gotta shit. Got to pay to go to work. That's yeah. Some bullshit. Like no. Like, Surprised we didn't have to buy our own plane tickets. Like any other company I work for. <laughs> when you traveled. You flew out Monday morning. You flew in on Friday night. Now there, we flew out Sunday night or Sunday morning. You had to travel with your own tools. So yeah. You had to keep your own luggage under 50, yeah. but then yet you want me to carry my <laughs> tools with me. I'm like, but oh, no, you, fuck. You, you flew out Sunday morning. Got so you flew out on. on your time on Sunday. <laughs> and then when you would fly yeah. home, you would fly home either like the red eye on Friday or on fri- or Saturday morning. I'm mm. like, you, nope. know what, you know what's even better than that? Not getting paid at all for travel. And that was my last adventure. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's like oh you. But you got a free vacation every summer. What a fucking vacation! Yeah. <laughs> I worked harder there than I did here. Yep. All I know is I remember that one flight where we had to travel our tools, <laughs> and I had my steel toe boots on on the flight. Had like two layers of jeans, two three shirts <laughs> on or something to keep my weight down best, under fifty, no. so I didn't have to pay extra. <laughs> the best is when me, Micah, Brookins. So it's over, man. The best is when me, Micah, Brookins, and Scott went to uh, Ypsilanti, Michigan. Yeah, the phallic and, symbol. And they gave us vouchers for free. Eastern and, Michigan. And and the owner of the company said. Don't use these on the flight up. Use them on the flight home. <laughs> we got fucking hammered on the <laughs> flight to Michigan. That <laughs> way it should be. You're starting that bitch off right. Well, we got hammered, and then we went to, like, Baskin Robbins or something for lunch and got beer there whenever we got. <laughs> it's a good oh, yeah. time, Like, man. fuck you. We're drinking on the way there. <laughs> Hell, it's snowing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Bumfuck the Egypt. The phallic symbol of Ypsilanti. You guys like to hunt? You like to fish? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> And the homeless guy started crying because <laughs> we told him they had no Scott money. Scott says, hey, man, how much fucking money what, you need? What do you fucking want? I need money. I need $6.32. I ain't got cents. shit. Fuck you. I ain't got no cash. <laughs> I <didn't drop> <laughs> <laughs> You just fucking started crying. Like, good God. That's a dumb shit, though. Right? The yeah, funny, shit part, so funny, though. funny part is Scott let him do his whole spiel for yeah. like 10 minutes and then finally. What the fuck you want? He's like, hey, man, we're running out of time. What the fuck you want? <laughs> how, much, how much money you need? I need like seven bucks. I ain't got no cash. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. And you know, this got me a real good job at Domino's delivering pizzas. <laughs> the thing with that project was any other project we did, we had one week to do a fucking two-month job. Oh, that was every time. That job, we had two weeks to do a three-day job. So literally, we were there for like almost two weeks yeah. and like – twiddling our thumbs we were literally done like after two or three days i don't know but we you guys gotta stay there because you gotta do this this i'm like we are literally fucking done yeah. remember we hung a 70 inch tv in the corner yeah. we had to take in like with the bang stick and go up yep. above the drop ceiling and put the post in and put yep. the post down and, and a drop down screen in the other corner yeah yep that's cool i'm gonna need you to hang around so i can charge them more <laughs> Pretty much. Well, no, because those two, those were two demo rooms. Demo that we rooms, did. yeah. And they're the customer was going to eventually pick which one they liked. The one me and Micah did, or the one we had Scott and uh, Josh do. And then wh- whatever room they picked, three hundred more classrooms are going to be done. Whatever that way was. Did they ever get that job? Well, it was just a consulting job. Oh, but we were there to that. build the demo rooms. I got you. Yeah. Well, sad, cause I don't remember anything coming from that. Yeah, that was the the demo or the consultant company, oh. which is. And they had One, smart boards too, right? Yeah, that yeah. was in the other room. Once they figured out which room they wanted to go with, then they sent it out for bid for other companies to do That's it. That's right. Yeah, we did do it. Yeah. I remember that. Wow. So, yeah, we, we got hammered every night there too. What a good time. Yeah, that's the place that we stayed at the hotel. They stole our goddamn the lug nuts. <laughs> we went to back out of the parking spot. They stole spot. our lug nuts. <laughs> we went to back out of the parking spot of the hotel, and Russ is like, Something's wrong. Yeah, right. We get out of the car. Our fucking wheel, front wheel, passenger wheel is like this. Like, what the fuck? It was only being held on by one lug nut. Uh, Like, these motherfuckers throw their lug nuts. (laughs) Scott gets out and he looks at Well, damn. (laughs) He looks and there's a Sears Auto Center across the street. He goes, 
I bet you I go there, they have three lug nuts, and we're missing three yeah. lug nuts. They here's like, here's like, I've heard of, I've heard of a place like fucking that doing work on a car <laughs> and needing lug nuts and just going to a parking lot and stealing. The, but rather than stealing one lug nut off of each wheel, they stole four off the front wheel. I which, think they were in the Thinking process. about it, we should have just took one lug nut off of each wheel and just kept on going. Well, I didn't care. I don't go so we go sat there a half a day waiting for the rental car <laughs> coming to bring us a new rental car. <laughs> they did, too. The same car, but with none of the features. Like the other, the first one we oh, had had nice. loaded, leather. Man. Yeah, it was fully loaded. Leather we finally seats, had a heated nice seats, vehicle. sunroof. They bring us the fucking same exact car, but the fucking base model. <laughs> it had an ashtray in it, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, like, son <laughs> of a bitch. <laughs> Some stole our fucking lug nuts. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah, me and you roomed together on that trip, and we were yeah. watching uh, History Channel yeah, every night. Yeah, that moonshiners. Every moonshiners night. every night. <laughs> yep. Well, well we, we could hear fucking Scott and Josh talking through the wall. Like we can hear Scott, we can hear Josh talking to his old lady on the cell phone in the bathroom, bitching at her. Like, Scott's like, "Hey man, you ever shut the fuck up? <laughs> <laughs> All you do is right. talk." <laughs> you know what the funny thing is about that guy is? Which one? Josh. What? The owners of the company sent him on a job with me, and said, "We want to test him out. We're going to send him to a steel mill." Cool. We're going to send him on this job with you. We want you to let us know when you get back how everything went. <laughs> and, base, and based off of what you tell us, we'll, we'll let us know if we want to hire him or not. They hired him anyway. When I got back, I said I would not ever have that <laughs> man or someone like him represent my company. I was like, he's the most unprofessional person I've ever worked with in my life. A week later, they fucking hired the guy. <laughs> <laughs> he left me high and dry and then my steel mill. My yeah. first day as That's a right. boss... And my first, like two two years later, my first day as a boss, as a manager, him. they made me fire him. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker. Nope, he was sick the whole time. Uh, I had to do his work and my work. Oh, I remember he walked he walked in the room on this job. He's like, talking about the people we're working with. These stupid motherfuckers, blah, blah. <laughs> saying it loud enough for everyone they saying it, it. While the customer's also there, too. I'm like, bro, shut up. He's like, stop. Nope, they ended up hiring him. <laughs> I'm like, good God. Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty, damn! That was a good one, man. Dude, I remember him just throwing up on that steel mill on the way home, and I got. Did you drive all the way back by? I drove 14 hours after I worked nine or yeah. nine or ten hour day. I drove another 14 back from Virginia to Florida, and I stopped at KFC after we got off work <laughs> to get like some food. Cause Didn't was, the smell of it make him sick? Yeah, too? he goes, "Man, can you not eat that, man? Like that's making me nauseous." And I go. No, I'm going to eat it. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> you can throw I, – I literally think I said you can throw up in the bag or whatever. <laughs> I'm not stopping, and I'm eating my food. So I'm eating my food, driving, and he's complaining after he didn't work at all, yeah. and he's talking about the food smell, and I'm like, I don't give a fuck right now. I remember me and you had to go back down to Miami. Cause yeah, to get a job with him. fucked up. It's the yeah, H&K like, stuff. Yeah, he ended up cutting out, like, an entire conference room, and then, like – for, I don't couldn't know why he ended up doing it. Yeah, he couldn't figure out how to put it back together. So me and Micah had to go down there, and we had to like, put it back together like in yeah. a couple of – it took us longer to drive down to Miami than it did. <laughs> it's the same way because we – You plug like, it in, see signal? Nope. All right, not that wire. Plug it in. All right, how see hard signal? is it, though? Yeah. Literally, there was like a dozen cables. You just plug them in one at a time. You, you press DVD player, TV one. Mm-hmm. All right, you turn TV one on, DVD player one. You plug Boom. in the signal until you see something on TV one. All right, that's TV one. You Boom. keep on plugging the cables in until you find DVD one. All right, those ta- those cables are good. And you just move on to the next. Oh, yeah. I remember me and him went to Boston. You and Larry Legit went to New York. Yep. We were doing the conference rooms in there. And, like, my job was to do, like, the physical install of, like, you know, the TV, the mounts, and, you know, do the hard shit. All he had to do was the brain part. I remember sitting there waiting on him for like four days both times. That's how it was with me and uh, Larry Legit. I did all the the main work, and I had him like just pulling the cabling mm-hmm. between the locations. Yep. That's where I did learn about the Cheesecake Factory. I've never on been On those there. trips. Yep. Cheesecake Factory is good, man. Me and Leroy, we we were cheap doing the whole thing. We ate like McDonald's in downtown Manhattan mm-hmm. and all that. Well, when I went to Boston, his family was from there, so he just left me at the extended stay. His yeah. old lady's family is from there, That's not what him. It was, yeah. yeah. So you know, I was chilling at the extended stay with all the other meth addicts. <laughs> <laughs> at least you had an fr- uh, empty hotel room then. Yeah. You had the that part was nice. Somebody. Yeah. 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 Good times, man. Good times. Um, I don't miss it. I don't. I don't miss the travel. 
Well, we all travel those. Yeah, like, fun I, when we weren't. Like at times it was fun at work, but um, I enjoyed when we worked together. Like, but we like, all went to Canada and all. That was that. fun. Mm-hmm. We worked a lot, a yeah. lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But yeah, good some good times, uh, good memories. I wouldn't trade the memories. That's for sure. Like UVA, just like uh, freaking when we went to Ottawa. Mm-hmm. UVA, we went to work on a Thursday and got off at Sat on Saturday after the football game. Yeah. I oh, because one, piss poor planning on other people's ends. I think one day me and him worked like 20 hours or something. We yeah. did. It was UVA the second time for the basketball arena. Yeah. And we literally worked like 20 hours, and then they put us on an airplane to go to fucking L.A. Yep. And I wasn't supposed to go, but last minute. I steel think, mill, yeah. Me and him worked a steel oh, mill. Oh, Mike got sick, wasn't it? Some Scott had to go home. Yeah. So I had you to You went go. there with somebody else's jeans. Yeah, so they were. Right. But either way, Micah wasn't supposed to be there, and yeah. they were still fucking me over, regardless. <laughs> Absolutely. Because <laughs> I, I didn't know. I was still kind of new at that point. So. I was like, whatever. We got in these data closets. I'm like, what the fuck do I do? He's like, just unplug the cable and follow it, <laughs> and plug it back in the same spot. Just dress it in there and half-ass make it look good. Okay. Yep. yep. They put a new switch oh. in there. You reroute the cables. Make sure everything's one for All one. All because the network engineering company bid a job and bid off more than they can chew. Yeah, they they did a project where they upgraded the whole infrastructure, network infrastructure, and then realized, oh, we we don't know how to do manual labor. We know <laughs> how to program the switches. We don't know how to put them in and plug everything back in. Yep, that's literally what we did. If yeah. all it was is you, the old switch was there. All right, put the gotta, new one above gotta, it. And yep. Move everything over we from the old one. We got to cut over time. Yep. one yeah. for one. Make dress it back in nice if you can. If you have to replace cables or add cables, do oh, it. Yeah, we had yeah. tons of patch cables. But I mean, other than that, it was pretty fucking simple. Plug yeah. in the fiber. <laughs> yeah. Good to go. Yeah. It's pretty simple. I probably got some pictures somewhere because I remember you're like, "Hey man, take pictures of your work." You were yeah. taking pictures too. Yeah, I was, but I, I'm pretty sure those are. All gone. my uh, pictures were sarcastic. Yeah, because I'd push, I'd post them on Facebook, pretty much being sarcastic about how pissed I was, yeah. and like usually they were on like holidays, like I was at one steel mill, no, was this? Yeah, it was a steel mill, and I, uh, they had the car crusher there with the magnet that picked up the cars. Oh yeah. And I remember I took a picture of a pile of like crushed cars, pretty much saying, uh, like my Fourth of July is going great. How about y'all's and shit like that? It was all like me bitching about. Oh, shit. I remember that too. And then your brother would usually comment on my stuff and say that you're oozing with sarcasm. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I'm <laughs> no so, shit. I'm like, I'm so glad I get to go to work at two o'clock yeah. in the fucking morning. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Those occasionally pop up on the old Facebook. Yep. That's back when, like, eleven years ago, when I started with Facebook, I'd put like. Going to the grocery store, just worked out. Yeah, like daily <laughs> updates or fucking rap lyrics or some of that. Yeah, <laughs> usually like Jason Aldean lyrics yeah. or something. I think I posted uh, my college uh, yeah, semester like, grades. Wow, I don't know how I pulled this off. <laughs> I don't know how I pulled this off. Yep. Life skills, A. <laughs> that one Look was funny. That, man. I had two programming classes, I think, on there. Yeah. People actually commented on it. It's like, oh, great job. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck am I posting? No one gives a fuck. <laughs> You got good grades. Good job. <laughs> College, what's that? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's dumb. Yeah. Dumb stuff. You know what's dumb? Huh. China not knowing how to control the rockets. Oh, yeah, one crashed, huh? No. What happened? <laughs> uh, There's one coming back down to Earth that they have no control over, that they have no idea where it's like an uncontrolled rocket. It's Oh, oh my shit. god! Is that it? it? No, nope, that was uh, <laughs> that was a remote. Yeah, apparently they sent some rocket up to space, and now it's supposed to be coming back, and they have like no control of it, and it's supposed to like land somewhere. Well, yeah, somewhere. No, where? they have no idea. Like they said, somewhere like near the Pacific Ocean area. How did China fuck that up? Whenever they can make everything else. They said right now it's hovering, like it's like coming down, like over some area in China. Mm. But they say it's, it's expected probably to land somewhere in the in the Pacific Ocean, like on Saturday. Really. I guess they lost control of it or something broke. And in a sp- sp- specific ocean? Specific like, like the Pacific. Mm-hmm. The Pacific, yep. not specific ocean. Specifically, specific. specifically, specifically the Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Maybe so it's, you're saying the GPS isn't working on it. I don't know, man. Was it an unmanned flight? I think so. Is it a nuke? It could be. It could be like oh speaking of that Armageddon was on Harry Stamper died That's a great spoiler movie. Harry Harry died again goddamn Ben Affleck Ben Ben Affleck Ben Askrack Harry I love you leaving 
Man, oh, those oh, animal shit. crackers that he was playing with looked pretty oh, good. Oh, yeah, though, right man. On that. I was like, man. Tyler's titties. God. But he stole that from Cold Trickle, man. Cold Trickle did it with sugar packets. Yeah. Yeah, but I like the animal, cra- animal crackers better. Oh, Mount Terry and the Sing. I would have preferred they would have been like the frosted animal crackers. Uh, sometimes that's just too much, though. No, John. You you always. There's some things Some you people always like prefer, frosted man. ones attract ants. So do the non frosted ones. No, that's not true. There's but no there's sugar. some things you should always prefer over. The other. Like what? Mm. Frost animal crackers over plain animal crackers. Chicks over dicks. Chicks over For dicks. For sure. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> the, uh, the frost, not the frosted, but you know the icing animal crackers? Icing? Dunkaroos? No, the icing style animal crackers. that have the sprinkles on them and all that. The yeah. one that's got like the little p- red plastic no. putty to spread, no. it, spread it on there? No. What are you talking about? They have frosted covered animal crackers? Frosted ones, iced ones. These ones. Yes, I've had those. Smacks? No, I've never seen those. You should always prefer those ones over the ice or over the uh, frosted ones. No. Where the oh. frosted ones are, I thought those were the same. Mother's no. circus animal. Lead bed on the jet plane. Those are the same. No. Yeah. No, there's other ones that have like these. Those are like the frosted. Oh, I definitely like the other ones better. No, you you take those ones over the planes, and then you take those ones over all of them. I'll take the plane over those. You, 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 well, this is coming from a guy who eats fucking plain lays. What's wrong with plain always. lays? You should take Doritos over plain lays. Do you like the potato lays. sticks? No. You actually asked me that. Was that the... You don't like the, potato dicks? No, no potato dicks. <laughs> Uh, you asked me, I think it was the yard sale you asked me that. Yeah. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I was a little impaired at the yard sale. Yeah, we all were. It's just like they give you options. Like they have vanilla ice cream in the ice cream box. Yeah. Some people like to get the vanilla before they get to Rocky Road. Uh. Same comparison. I'm not really a Rocky Road guy. You're a rock and roll? Rock and roll! Um. Chocolate chip is probably my chocolate chip and cookies and cream are probably my two favorite ice creams. French vanilla, Rocky Road, chocolate <laughs> peanut butter cookie dough. Ooh, scoop, there it is. He knows. Uh, was it coffee or <laughs> coffee? You coffee? like coffee? coffee? Coffee ice cream or the toffee ice cream? Ooh. No, uh, butter pecan ice cream is very good. Pecan, I don't know. Pecan, but butter pecan, butter pecan, 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 butter pecan. That's, That's a good ice cream. Is it pecan and pecan? I don't know, like, the Pop Neapolitan on. ice cream that has, like, the vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry. I don't know who the fuck eats the strawberry. Neapolitan. I they like got strawberry. olives in that? God damn it, Johnny. You like all the weird shit. <laughs> I like a little strawberry vanilla. No, in your cup. I like just a, a plain vanilla. I might vanilla. like strawberry more than chocolate I do sometimes. like plain, plain vanilla. I love Actually, plain Actually, plain vanilla. vanilla and plain chocolate are very solid ice cream choices. Okay. So, why don't you like plain chips? Same fucking concept. No. Because. <laughs> no. Vanilla is a flavor. Plain isn't a flavor. What about Original. just regular sun chips? Sun chips are different. I don't know if they have just a regular. Yeah, they have sun chips. Regular sun chips. Yeah. Okay. What about Coke? Oh, the cheddar sun chips? Those are good. Yeah, those are yes. fire. <laughs> I got the French onion sun chips. So I never had those. They're good. The green you know what also are good are the baked fucking barbecue lays. Have yeah. you had the baked barbecue lays? Yeah. Baked lays, better than regular lays. Anything agree bakes better than a regular. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hey, man. <laughs> you want to bake? Uh, actually, the baked Doritos aren't that great. I haven't seen baked Doritos. Oh, yeah, I have had them. They're not that great. Well, Doritos fucked it up. They don't want no, the, the baked. baked fucked up Doritos. The baked is the healthier the option. The baked. <laughs> what all can you bake? Baked <laughs> potatoes. They know baked people don't want baked Doritos. They want regular Doritos. Like those baked. What are the ones we had tonight? Sweet Sweet chili. chili. Those are the fucking deal. Purple bag, yeah. Purple bag is the fucking deal. Yeah. Why would you get plain ass nacho Doritos if you can get sweet chilies? Uh, If Lay's had sweet chilies, I would prefer that over rich. When it comes to the flavor of the Doritos, I mean, there there is no plain Dorito. They're all flavor. The nacho original is plain. No, if you get plain Doritos, you're getting Tostitos. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, a Tostito. Those are good. They are good. Plain. Mm, but I'd rather take your Dorito. I would say. Even the four chi- Remember the four cheese Doritos? Those were fucking good. No. The nacho is about there, as plain Dorito. There as used to be get. a pepper jack Dorito that came in a chrome bag. 
They were so I do. good. I never yeah. had that. And they quit, I don't really care for they it. They quit though. making I never them. had that. Yeah, they were like pepper but Yeah, jack. Plain Dorito is a Tostito, regular Tostito dipping chip. Oh. That's a Plain Dorito. Yeah. They, are, they are the same chips, just one has loaded mm. with flavor. What about uh, Cape Cod Sea Salt Chip? I'm just going to throw Greg. it out there. I'm not really a Cape Cod Chip kind of guy. They're good. Sea salt, Even though those pepper. are from my or, my origin area. I was going to say, they're from the, the New England area. Yeah, I went by the Cape Cod factory last time I went and saw my grandmother. You did. She I do in, like... Fun fact, she lives in Cape Cod. I oh. do like the Cape Cod mesquite. Mesquite barbecue. Mesquite, you love the skeet? <laughs> I do love the mesquite. <laughs> the mesquite Actually, barbecue. though, the ruffled... Have you had the... Uh, ruffles The Cape barbecue. Cod ruffles? Those are pretty fucking good. I haven't seen the Cape Cod They make Cod ruffled ruffles. the Cape Cods. Usually ruffles makes ruffles. They make the ruffled... Uh, style chip. Hmm. I just like how crisp they are. I don't like how hard they are. I, I think like, I kind of like that. Hmm. I don't want to eat a chip that I feel like I'm going to break my fucking teeth in half no, every they're, time I eat one. They're kettle cooked. That's what, you know, that's the deliciousness of them. Kettle cooked. I prefer those over regular Lay's. Yeah, I, pref- yeah. I prefer anything over regular Lay's. I just don't like how Lay's just gets caked up in your teeth, man. Yeah, well, kind like, of any chip. Like the barbecue does. chips are great. Yeah. But then you know they get the all best caked up in there, man. You know what the best plain chip is? That's plain chip. Um, yep. I'm going to say it is the mm, the pretzel. That's not a chip. That's a pretzel. It's on the chip aisle. <laughs> You're right. It's in, a, it's in a bag that looks <laughs> but like a chips. Pretzel's a pretzel. A chip's a chip. No, it even says chip aisle. Yeah. Actually, it's not it doesn't a chip say, aisle. It doesn't say this the aisle, pretzel. It just aisle. says this aisle. <laughs> Chips. It just says aisle seven. Chips, Chips, pretzels, blah, blah, blah. It does not say pretzels. It does. The fuck it pretzels. does. Pretzels. <laughs> at my local grocer, it you has lie. pretzels listed. No, it doesn't. What is the best f- plain chip? I would say a Frito. Ding, ding, ding. That's what I was thinking. Frito's not plain. Yes, it is. They have plain Fritos. It's salt, salt flavor, regular ch- Fritos, or they, fucking salt flavor? They got corn flavor on it. The corn is not a flavor. It is. The substance of the chip itself is not the flavor. What is on the chip is the flavor salt? Salt. It's the same exact thing as Lay's. You're defeating the purpose. I said, what was the best plain flavored chip? Frito. Plain. Yeah. That's, what do you mean defeating the purpose? So this you're admitting you like plain chips. I like plain Fritos. That's a plain I chip. Do. No, no. I've never. Sa- said. I've never said I did not like plain chips. Yeah, you did. I said I do not prefer. I prefer chips with actual flavoring mm. on it. Hence. Uh, Doritos, uh, fucking no. uh, Funyun. Your your exact words was, "Who the fuck likes plain chips?" <laughs> if we well, right. just determined no, you love a Frito. No, yeah, I no, said, "Who no, the fuck no. eats plain chips when you can get chips of flavor?" Oh, now there's a win statement. Yeah, he keeps adding. <laughs> Super fan Tom Callahan will figure out what episode we said that on. He'll go back and. All find I'm going to say is, if Ross was a chip flavor, he would be extra salty. Oh yeah, I, I, hey, no argument there. Like people wouldn't be able to put put the chip in the mouth. That's so so what's they, they, they per- as they're as they're about to put me in their mouth, their tongue gets instantly dry like, on that oh. salty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you so, have to chase it with water. <laughs> so what chip would that be? I don't know, man. Yeah, are you more of a Ruffles type chip, or you're like a, a Lay's, or are you like a Cape Cod? Are you like yeah. Great Value brand, or are you like? No, a, I'm I'm a I'm a brand specific. You like a Cheeto Puff. A Cheeto, Cheeto puff. puff that has yeah. flavor on it. it. Has cheese flavor on it. But no, you're a Cheeto puff with extra salt, but you don't have cheese on you. No, oh, then that's uh, uh, they don't even make those, John. Uh, that's what I'm saying. You're your own flavor. No. I'm pretty sure he's a pretzel, because that's all you taste is salt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wrap your ass up. I'm a pretzel. <laughs> oh no, yeah, he's pretzel a stick. <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm. He's got the he's salt a lim- on the He's a limp pretzel. <laughs> pretzel. I would say I'm a lint. Um, a hint of lime. Hint of lime. No way. Hint of lime. Lime Tostito? What are yep. you, Mexican? Hey. He's saying he's plain, but he's got a hint of lime. Hey, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm saying it. Yeah, I'm plain. I'm salty. But I, I still got a little pizzazz to me. Lime? Hey. Um. Well, what else? What else are you going to be? Are you fucking cheese? Cheese or ranch? Ranch, huh? <laughs> he gets salty about some chips. <laughs> All I know is... I would have to say I'm a Dorito. You're a Dorito? I think I'm a Dorito. If I was a chip, uh, I think I would be uh, 
Um, sour cream and cheddar, the orange ones that Ruffles makes. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Those are good ones. You like, I, I hate you sour like cream. You like Ranch Doritos? No, I really don't. I do. Uh, I would say because you don't like ranch. So how the fuck are you going to eat Cool Ranch? I don't like them. I'm a Dorito. I pretty much like almost all of them. I like sour cream and cheddar chips because mm-hmm. the sour cream is on my terms. Oh, true. Yeah. I'm yeah. not an onion fan, but I like sour cream and onion. You know, I was yeah. never an onion fan until I got older, and now I like raw onion. I don't like sauteed Ru- onions. Ooh. Like a, a good like r- onion on a hamburger, I'll eat that. That'll ruin it. I can have a full erection, and you talk about an onion, and it goes soft. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's just weird. <laughs> yeah. Way to ruin that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> onions distract you that bad? I hate some fucking onions, man. How did your celery experiment go last week? <laughs> I didn't get to try it out. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> Eating fucking celery for nothing. But we did find out that I have to eat a massive yes, amount a of celery. Of Three heads. celery. Three fucking heads. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, don't write on the paper with the mark. Just because celery has something has celery in it doesn't mean you can skeet. <laughs> I'm willing to eat three three heads of celery to do Celery's this experiment, disgusting. but I'm not gonna. Yet eat alone these. the fucking texture. I gotta have an agreement, like, hey, you're gonna get the bust from you to eat these three heads, because I'm not eating these heads for nothing. I'm not eating celery. Fuck it. Salary? Salary. Salary. <laughs> I mean, I could do it. I would like to just see, like, maybe I can do like, all right, one week I'll do without. I'll just. Try to do like no a... No salary. Yeah, you don't do no salary. And then you don't skeet or nothing. You let it build up. You Then at the end of the week, you skeet. Get your distance. <laughs> and then the next week, you let it build up again. But right before you, you go to do your thing... Is it like the height chart you put on the door jam? Exactly. Like your kids but I'm, I'm chart? going... <laughs> I'm going to go height and distance. <laughs> so like I can be like my skeet shot was approximately five foot high... And it went for approximately six feet. <laughs> That's a hell of a skeet. That's a heck of a shot, man. I so will say. I would like to see the skeet. You know, right before if I ate these three heads of celery, how far? And it all. I mean, I bet it depends on how excited I am, because you know, you're not always the same. The excitement's not always the same. It's true. Yeah, it kind of depends on the situation. Sometimes it's you're like, more aroused than other there's times. There's like a lot of uh, variables to this, like. <laughs> You really have to think about keeping it very as consistent as possible. Yeah. I really would like to know how much is Think about celery. the same thing every time. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be like exact, same position, same excitement. I got to be like, I got to be same sober. It's the thrill. Okay. I like the thrill of getting caught. Same don't dinner. don't get caught. Same dinner. You got to have the same fucking nutrition for the same week. Protein huh? shake and three cloves of celery. Because <laughs> I could have, like, the only thing that I could. It's science, that, man. It's got to be an The only test. thing that could be different is the celery. The celery. That's it. That's it. You got to have a controlled environment. That's what you're doing. And doing obviously, for. what you're eating the celery with. So I might have some <sighs> peanut butter, some ranch. That's a hell of a combination peanut butter and ranch. I would no. I would get. I'd probably get tired of eating one. So then, I like three heads is a lot of celery. Yeah. So I'd probably get burned out on oh. peanut butter and switch to the ranch. How bad? How long do you think it'd take you to eat that much celery? Fuck, that's a lot. Like uh, if you sat down, would it take you an hour or would it take you a whole day? I would say about an hour and a half, probably. Just straight munching. Just straight, just destroying celery. Mm. He's like, I'm gonna, <laughs> we're gonna do this <laughs> the celery what challenge. Now? An hour yeah. and a half. That's what we're to, to do. See if I can finish some get celery. You, we'll get you three heads of celery because we do this show for about an hour, hour and a half. Let's see if you can finish it. So Maybe I'm like start. thirty minutes into the celery challenge. The salary challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> but I would wrong? like to like you know get a good t- test measurement you know and figure out where. I'm so you would you need like three large heads of celery? Tori, or? hold this yardstick. <laughs> <laughs> I would not have my kid near me. <laughs> she shouldn't even be in the like even awake or even in the area at all. You're a dad now. You can't be doing this stuff in general. John will be the old man like at the nursing home. It's for home. science, man. Science. Hey, Pre John, dad or dad John would measure his skeet. Dad John doesn't do that stuff anymore. Yeah, it'd be like the Olympics and the long jump. How right, they well, someone else do it then? I was doing it for science and for the show, but if you someone for else science. We, we don't need it. this for the show. <laughs> well, it's for science then. Science. In the name of science. Science rules. Rules, 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 rules. Hey man, you get some more Fanco pops. That's what you need to sell. The, middle, uh, shel- the middle shelf's more fuller. Yeah, I had some. We got Fred Weasley. 
I don't know. He's been there. Oh, you got some Harry Potters. They've been there, man. Nuh-uh. Yeah, they have been. I what remember a, seeing Dobie. For quite some time. Oh, he was there? Yeah. He, he, he was over here at one point. Who's Tom Riddle? You want to know who Tom Riddle You is? can read that? Yeah. That's you're, Lord Voldemort, man. Your eyes. I know Ron Weasley. I know Lord Windishmere? Hermione. Lord Voldemort. Who's Albus? Albus Dumbledore. He's the greatest professor oh, of all time. I just knew him as The Dumbledore. greatest wizard of all time, man. Okay. Um, Better than the Wizard of Oz? What's yep. that? Is that little blonde boy? Is, is that up there? Little blonde, blonde boy. The one that Harry Potter kills? No, he's not up there. Little blonde boy. Harry, Harry Potter killed him, right? No. He I zapped him in the bathroom, didn't he? He did, but he, he survived. Silver <laughs> Snape. Professor Snape brought him back. That's uh, the he saved his So you don't have the little blonde boy up there? No, not yet. That's Give me time, worst. man. Give me time. Damn, I really got to fucking stop watching parts of movies. <laughs> I thought Harry killed him. See that space open right there? That's where he's going. No, uh, a Dementor is going to go there. You know, like the little things that are like the ghosts that suck your soul out of your face. Yeah, that's going there. I think, uh, I think I remember seeing something where the sky was turning black. Yeah, and then they get, like they pins him in the alley and it sucks, it starts sucking the soul out of his face. Those things. I got what is my coming. kid watching? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's afraid of the werewolf, but she she likes watching the one ghost thing what sucking the, the soul out of a guy's face. Sucking <laughs> the soul out. Yeah, what is my kid watching? What is she watching? Yeah, the first like two or three are like nice family friendly yeah. movies, and they get darker as they go. I remember seeing that one bald dude in there. He was creepy looking. Yeah, Voldemort. Yeah. yeah. Tom Riddle turns into that guy. No way. Yeah. Tom Riddle. Was his name, uh, or was it him when he was a kid at the school? And he turned into the Dark Lord, uh, Lord of Aldemort. It's Fred Weasley, Ron's brother. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you have Ron's dad up there? He wasn't he the wizard? Uh, he's not a Funko Pop. He, they don't have him available. Oh, that's well, that's probably a rare one that's yeah. not offered. Oh, they don't even make it, yeah. No, they do. No, they don't. It's only for certain people, like Bill Gates. No. Funko Pop. Y'all want to end this podcast? Um, well, I got, we got clothes on. Bill Gates got divorced. He's getting okay. divorced. I Same thing. That's cool. His wife's going to have a lot of money. Same thing with Benzos. He yeah, got Bezos. divorced too, man. They, they got divorced a long time ago. And then his ex-wife married a school teacher. She's not like, worried about money. I know. That's what I'm saying. That dude's banking. He, like, he went from 35000 a year to like thirty five million. He probably a signed year. a prenup. Uh, she's probably like, let me get that yardstick. Yeah. Teach, Teach me, me about calculus. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I had Bill for so long. Oh. He's so nerdy. Mm. I just want you to slap me with to that me. yardstick. Hit me with them facts. That just goes to show you that money can't buy you love. What's he's like a uh, fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger, like kindergarten cop, some jacked ass kindergarten teacher. <laughs> I don't know. She man. left Bill Gates for Arnold. No. Good. I don't know. That was a classic movie. Which one? Kindergarten cop. Oh, yeah. It's oh, not yeah. a Tuma. Boys have giant... I mean, girls have giants. Boys have penises. That's that movie. Yep. I think our people need to just continue to... If they're confused, just take a look downstairs. Just take your pants down. Pants down! Pants down! That's what you are. <laughs> Damn it, Bill. Untuck it. Man, I had a topic I wanted to cover tonight. Oh, you missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Try again next week. Shit. There's always next week, John. All your topics are stale like those chips. I only had one topic, man. What was it? It was a Chinese rocket that's crashing down to the ground. Oh, yeah. We're worried about Chinese. Was that rocket? It should be until it fucking lands in in your yard. Isn't China's flag red? Yep. Is their rocket the same color? It might be. It probably is a red rocket. Red rocket, red rocket. (laughs) (laughs) It's all fun and games till you get a red rocket. Till you lose control of your red rocket. All I know is if that thing lands, when it explodes, I hope bourbon chicken and egg rolls pop out of it. That's racist, John. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That is <laughs> like, oh my god! I, love I have not crab ex- rangoons come uh, tumbling out. Yeah, of Yeah, exactly. Place. Crab rangoon. You got the fucking there, sweet is there sour anything sauce. in this world better than crab Fuck. rangoons, man? Those are terrible. Oh, I can't eat them. You're fucking terrible. Says the guy that won't eat chips. I do eat chips. Not plain ones. ones. I, I I will eat plain chips, but I prefer to have something with flavor. But oh, crab like rangoons that. are fucking uh, like the crab rangoon pizza I sent that one day. In oh your yeah. Message. Oh yeah. Oh man. Have you ever had crab rangoons? Yes, I had them and I absolutely hated them last time y'all got them. Do you from... like cream cheese? 
hit and miss. On his terms. That's why. He doesn't like cream cheese. I'm hit and miss on it. All Depends I know is, man, I'll be praying for rockets. If crab oh, rangoons man. and fucking bourbon chicken fried rice pop out of them. Oh, I my could God. <laughs> That's like a rocket pinata. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a Chinese rocket pinata. Yeah. That'd be cool. Hell yeah, dude. I want some egg rolls. I might get some Panda World tomorrow night for dinner then. I haven't had Panda World in a while. I haven't I had it uh, last Thursday night for dinner. I ordered it here. I ate it for dinner. Saved half of it for the next night. Then Paul and Wendy were like, hey, you want to come over? We're ordering Panda World. I'm like, I have leftovers I can bring with me. I'll come over and drink some beers. Beers. So I went over there, and then uh, John and Danielle, or not John and Danielle, John and Claire showed up, and they ended up ordering Panda World. And I ate my leftovers, ate their crab and goose. That's cool. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yep. Right on. Should we end this thing? Yeah. (sighs) Yes. I gotta work tomorrow. You got a vacation tomorrow. I got. I do, and I don't have a. I don't have a consultation. Haha, <laughs> cancel that Good. motherfucker. Good for you. You'll have another one rescheduled, don't worry. <laughs> sure, I will. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. <laughs> Sore subject. Stop scheduling shit that I don't even agree to. What? Just trying to get my tonsils out. No, wisdom teeth. That's what I meant. <laughs> they're, your, your, they're my tonsils. I mean, they're, your, wi- teeth. they're your wisdom teeth. Do you it's want them taken out? It's my Adam's apple, and I want it. Do you want? Do you need them taken out? Do you no. Want them taken out? Then keep them in there. Do you need them taken exactly. out? Exactly. Well, I got my you wife know, trying to schedule appointments. No. And he told me that if they it's take, your body, your choice. Yes. Right. They told me if they take his wisdom teeth, he won't be smart no more. Exactly. Oh, yeah. I'm not well, trying to lose my wisdom. Well, fuck those bitches in as long as you keep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm already no. told I'm not it's smart. It's your fucking body. Why are you letting her decide what? Exactly. Go fucking nutsack, man. I did. I did. <laughs> I told the lady, my wife scheduled this appointment to pressure me in to come in for this consultation, and I will not be showing up for it. Yeah, I have a vacation my day. My man. Hey, <laughs> it's probably a trick. It's probably not wisdom teeth. You're probably getting a vasectomy and don't Oh, my it. God. Could you imagine, like, sir, lay down, and the next thing you know, they're like, I'm unbutton your pants. What? <laughs> what kind of dentist is this? <laughs> I thought I was getting my wisdom teeth checked out. We'll see y'all next week. (laughs) (laughs) You're getting your wisdom teeth checked out. My tonsils, you know what I'm saying.